Hey guys, this is Scott Leroy, Scott Leroy Marketing, coming in for another weekly tip. So today's tip is a, a simple one. It's how to make a neighborhood URL from your contacts. All right, so obviously um, there are a couple different places you've probably seen the neighborhood option under the settings on here at the top right. You do have this neighborhood snap section on here where you can actually view your neighborhoods. You can also view the landing page and what it's going to look like on here. Um, obviously there's not much that you can really tweak on the landing page, but you can change the colors on here. All right, and then of course, if you're on a team, you can have some team data on here too. All right, but with that being said, in order to actually create the neighborhood, all right, we're gonna go on to our contacts because you'll actually create this for each contact individually. All right, so if I click on this contact option, then all of my contacts in my database will pop up on here. All right, so I'm gonna click on my main contact on here. All right, and once we do that, as you can see on here, then we can actually view our current contact. All right, so then if we scroll down a little bit further on here, we can actually see different neighborhoods that we have set up. All right, now to add inside a neighborhood, it's pretty simple. We'll just click the Add Neighborhood option. All right, so in this case, I'm going to search for a neighborhood, or of course, you can view the map on here too. So I'm going to allow this real quick. Uh, of course, my computer didn't want to work with that. That's all right. All right, so I'm going to type in 32801. Let's do Florida, see if it pops up. And all right, this will work on here. All right, so let me zoom in real quick. Awesome. All right, so I'm gonna add inside a couple different neighborhoods that I might wanna display on here. So I'm gonna go with this one first. I'll add in these. Let's say the person's looking to move around this particular area. All right, so I've added in seven different neighborhoods. Uh, now I'll add in a couple more on here. Why not? All right, so I've added in about 10 different neighborhoods on here. And all you have to do is just click on the neighborhood area that you wanna add for that particular person and then just click save. And as you can see, they're all added on here, which is the best part about it. And then you can always add inside new neighborhoods for them too. Now then if I come down here, I can add it to a smart plan. All right, so as you can see, monthly neighborhood nurture. All right, then I can even add them over to the smart plan on here, but I can also get the neighborhood snap URL. So if I get that neighborhood snap URL, here's the URL that I can now actually send out to this particular contact. So in this case, Scott Leroy, so they can actually view all these neighborhoods. So if I put this inside my address bar just to get an idea as to what it'll look like, all right, it's going to pull up with our neighborhood snap web page that they can now utilize. And if you notice, all the different neighborhoods are currently on here. All of our contact info is up here from our marketing profile. There's the option to search on here too. There's the option for the about me section where they can see all of our additional info from our profile. All right, and then it can actually just go through all the neighborhoods I have set up on here. All right, whether it's Colonial Town South, the Lake Yule Heights, and then it'll give us all the statistics on here too, active homes for sale, all right, and then a contact form at the bottom as well. All right, so it's pretty cool. You can actually just send this out to people now so they can start to utilize it immediately. All right, so that's how simple it is to create a neighborhood URL for your contacts so they can start to use that as your new quote-unquote landing page. So there you go. So that is your command tip for the day.